So in this video, we're going to be setting up and telling Webpack how to deal with um, CSS files. And in particular, we're going to be using SAS or the uh, SCSS version. That's the one that I particularly like to use. If you like the indented flavor, the .sass, this will work just the same. Um, so the first thing, we need to install a few different loaders. So again, if you remember, we had to install Babel loader to handle our JavaScript files. And so in order for Webpack to recognize and understand how to handle our SCSS files or our SAS files, we've got to set up and install a few different loaders. So there's three in total that we need to set up. So the first thing we need to do is install the CSS loader and the style loader. And these two loaders al allow Webpack to recognize and understand .css files. So let's go back to our terminal here. And we're going to do npm install dash dash save dash dev style loader and CSS loader. Cool. And then while we're in here, we might as well just install SAS because we're going to need that eventually. Dash dash save dash dev and we're going to install SAS loader and SAS. Now we've got those installed, let's update our webpack config and add in a new rule so webpack knows what to do with CSS files, or SCSS in this particular case. So after this object here is for our JS files, we're going to create a new one and we're going to do test forward slash backslash dot SCSS dollar sign forward slash I Oops, sorry. Uh, again, that's a regular expression. So this is just telling Webpack, anytime you come across a file with a .scss extension, run it through these loaders. And so since we installed a few of them, we got to tell Webpack to use them. Uh, the order of this is important. So you got to make sure that these loaders are running in the correct order. So we do CSS lo loader first, then it's going to run through I'm sorry, style loader first, then CSS loader, and then it's going to go through SAS loader. Great. And so now what we need to do is we need to first create our SAS file. So let's go into the source directory here. Let's create a new file, and we're just going to call this main.scss. And within this main.scss, I'm just going to do a variable, and I'm going to call it body color, it's going to make it red, and then we're going to do body, background is our variable, body color. Cool. So we've got our SAS file, but now we need to get it inside of our, we need to import it inside of our index.js, because remember, everything needs to come through our index.js, because that's the entry point into Webpack. So let's put this over here, and we'll just do uh, import dot forward slash main dot scss and now let's run our dev server npm run dev cool so our development server is running opens up the tab and if you notice pretty obvious the entire background's red. So SAS is set up and configured, our loaders are set up and configured properly, and so we've got that all running, which is great. Uh, the next video, we're gonna set up post-CSS, and then we're gonna introduce this new plugin called Mini CSS Extract Plugin, which will allow us to, um, when we run that build command in our production build, so when we run Webpack build, it'll actually output the CSS into a separate uh, file instead of keeping everything inside of JavaScript.